Yeah, just real excited. Uh, we've got nine really good teams coming in this weekend, all Division I. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular. We've got some pro sections that we're going to allow. This is a special meet for me again, the Corky Classic. Uh, we're having a reunion, a track reunion on Friday night. So it's going to be real special to bring a lot of the X's back uh, and just have some fabulous competition. I'm excited. I'm running some more guys and, and competing some more people in field events this week that we didn't last week. So just looking forward to another good meet. How does this meet compare for what you want your goals, for your goals to get to Big 12s and Nationals? How does this meet help prepare you? Yeah, I just had a team meeting with our kids and, and tell them of how to handle the stress of a higher level meet. And this is a higher level meet than last week. It's all D1, some really top notch teams are here. And we've got to perform, you know, you're going to be side by side with everybody. And so I think that's what's important to learn how to compete when it, when it counts. Which team and which athlete are going to press you the most this week? Well, that's a good question. Uh, of course, LSU's here, Kentucky's here. Uh, our hot conference, we've got five teams from our conference, which will be a good test to kind of see where we are at this time of the year. Uh, Miami's coming, uh, Ohio State. Uh, just a really good group of people, and I think you're going to see that they have a mix. Certain events from each school is going to be real good, including the Big 12 schools. Which event are you looking and need to see progress this week that you couldn't really show last week because you didn't have everyone running? Yeah, I mean, we've got people that are running this week. Uh, you know, Terrence is going to run the 200, which will be be good. Jalen Drayden's going to run the 200. Uh, we're we're going to have kids uh, high jumping. Best is going to high jump on the men's side. Uh, we're still not going to run Rose. We're going to open her up next week. Uh, but we're going to, you know, Alyssa will run again in the 60 like she did last week. Of course, uh, Jacob got really close, I think, to 22 meters. We want to get that this week. We're just trying to compete with uh, the best in the country, but we're also competing against ourselves because we've got to get a mark indoors. That's just the way it functions. But I think you're going to see Shamar in the 400. You're going to see a lot of different things uh, that we're going to do. Our Kenyans are going to get to run, our girls and our guys, and so uh, they're in various events. I'm just anxious to get the whole team kind of rolling. What is the best thing about Alyssa that you've seen so far this year? And what do you want her to show? What, what does she need to have to do during this meet? Well, I'm, I've been very proud of her. She, she's a hard worker. She came in here and is just going to work. Uh, when, you, when you personal best in the prelim, then personal best in the final, uh, I think the confidence she's gaining and just the opportunity that she's, uh, and the leader she's been for our team, I'm just so proud of that. And for Jacob, for his him to get 22 with. Why is it 22? Well, in my up? mind, 22 meters is going to make him the Nationals, so uh, that's kind of a mark that always nearly makes Nationals. Uh, you know, sometimes high 21 meters can make it, but most of the time it takes 22. He had a foul that was that, but he's, he's going to hit it. I just want him to hit it this weekend and get that pressure off. Kayla, yeah, I'm going to run her in the 600 again. Uh, I think she kind of got her feet wet a little bit. That's an odd event for her, but I'll either run her in the 600 or the 800 at conference. So we'll run two here, and then I'll run her two 800s in a row, and then we'll make a decision by Big 12 time. So. You mentioned you wanted to get to 22. What's the difference between high 21s and 22? <laughs> a few inches, <laughs> but in our sport, those are uh, – you know, ask a high jumper what uh, whatever quarter inch matters. It's uh, it's huge, and there you know only 16 people make it indoors. It outdoors 24 make it. 12 in the east, 12 in the west. We don't have a region indoors, so man, it is just 16 people in the bed. It's the hardest meet to make uh, in any meet we go to. The indoor national championships, the hardest meet to get into. You mentioned a uh, reunion. Who are some of the uh some of the familiar names that'll be uh, hanging around the track. Well, I mean, we're going to have Jonathan Johnson back, and we're going to have Matt Stewart, all that group that ran together, Tyree Gales, who, of course, coaches at Love of Christian. But that was all that 2004 or 5 team that, that won the first Big 12 championship. There's going to be a bunch of them back. And there's going to be some older ones that, you know, I didn't even get to coach. Uh, that is really fun for me to see them come back and be proud of our program. But uh, I don't know. I think that we've got about 50 signed up so far. and, and uh, 
the Letterman's Club's helping us with that. Uh, Will Culpepper kind of organized that. So uh, I'll talk to him by tomorrow and see how many more we got. Ruta opening up this weekend? Ruta's going to triple jump, yes. Yes, she is. So her, how is she trained? She, she trained really good at home, and she's had a good fall. And then uh, she had a slight strain of her back lifting, and we just didn't jump her last week, and she had a really good week so far. And uh, so we're going to open her up probably on a short run. She'll jump pretty well off a short run this week. She never did have to have surgery when she was down. Is that extended time for her? No, no, not at all. She's, she's doing really good. What was the competition like to get those women's high jumpers, those freshmen that you have? Well, it's uh, it's incredible, but you know I don't think those marks will get in nationals. Right. I think they're going to have to go 185 instead of about 183. 185 is kind of the minimum. Also, when I talk about Jacob going 22 meters, well, I think high jump is about 1.85 is about the bottom, and they're both very capable of that. They had jumps that were that high this weekend, uh, just didn't quite make them. But uh, I'm looking forward to that competition. Kentucky's got a great girl. LSU's got a great girl. There's some really good competition there. People that have jumped higher than my my girls, so hopefully that'll bring out the best in them. The women's 60 hurdles, uh, it could be one of the most fan feeling uh, events this week for the pros. With, with the yes, pros. <laughs> it's uh, you, you've got you know Olympic medalists and you've got uh, people world championship medalists and then you've got of course our Demisha's in there and Alicia's in there, two of our former athletes, so I'm looking really forward. Devin Charlton's in there. <laughs> There's some great ones, so Maya Russell. And, uh, it'll be fun to see all those girls uh, compete. Uh, I forgot, it was to me. 22 meters, he's put the, uh, the, the, the line in the sand. Yes, sir. Can, can you cross it? Yes, sir, definitely. Um, we've been training really hard this off season. Um, you know, we opened up good with 2182, uh, but there's a lot more there. You know, we're just getting started, so def definitely can cross it, yes, sir. Where are you in your in your progression from last year to this year, and, and how close are you to 22, 22 five? Um, Well, I don't want to say numbers, but very close. Uh, from what I've seen in practice, what I've been able to do, and uh, you know, having great coaches helps. So coach Falcons, he's a master with the throws, and um, he's really been able to coach me, um, and give me in a better position. Uh, the last few years, I've been dealing with some injuries uh, with my knee. Um, but finally, I've kind of taken control of uh, some of my recovery and uh, just getting healthy. And that's the biggest thing I focus on this year is just being healthy coming into coming into this year. And I feel like I've accomplished that. So um, I think 22, 22.5 or 23 isn't isn't out of the question. But uh, yes, sir. What does it say to have? We were talking to the coach about having the premier facility for track and how all these great throwers and runners get to come. What does that say for you? that you don't have to you know, travel as much, you know that you're going to get a good number from here. It definitely helps. Um, you know, Like Kitley was saying, this is the greatest facility in the country, and I agree 100%. Um, it's great getting to wake up and come train here every single day um, and not have to worry about the weather or, or anything like that. And uh, you know, we have some of the best athletes at Texas Tech. You know, I say we're a track school. I know some people disagree, but um, uh, with what we've accomplished, you know, it's, it's great to get to wake up and come and train here. So, tell us about how you uh, got here coming out of high school. Did you, did you walk on or did you come in with some scholarship? Um, I actually started at Abilene Christian. So I spent a year at Abilene Christian um, and then transferred here on scholarship. Awesome. Yes, sir. You, uh, you, good? Um, you mentioned being healthy. How do you think you grew last weekend? Obviously, a personal best is good, but I mean, what, what did it feel like being out there healthy? It felt really good. Uh, finally having a knee I can actually turn on <laughs> definitely helps. You know, throwing, throwing with two legs instead of one. Um, so that it definitely felt good. I think there's still a lot there. This is the first meet. It was obviously a lot smaller meet. We didn't have a very big school, so we didn't change our training at all. We didn't really prepare for it as much as we will for these next two two bigger meets coming up. Um, and then, of course, going to nationals. So um, it felt good, though, finally going to throw. I know you're going for a number, but is, how does the competition change how you get out there and throw this weekend. Right? It definitely helps having some, you know, bigger guys that can, can throw far. It definitely pushes you to, to compete harder and throw farther, you know. I, th I don't think there's anybody in the world that doesn't get excited with competition, you know. Just having those those guys that push you, it really helps. So. 
asking coach, you know, and the simple answer is a couple of inches, but what, what's the difference of the high 21 that you got this past weekend compared to the 22 that you're looking forward towards? Well, if you ask Coach Falcons, uh, 22 is the suck line. That's what he calls it. So <laughs> if you throw over 22, then, then you don't suck anymore. Um, um, so that's pretty much every year, 22 meters makes it to nationals. So right, right around 22, high 21. So really, if you throw 22, you're almost guaranteed to be in the top 16. But of course, it depends. But. What do you attribute your uh, increase that you did last week? Um, I think it all comes down to doing the small things better. Um, it's definitely the little details that get you. And so, obviously, having you know amazing coaches like Falcons and Killian and staff, having great teammates um, to help push you farther. Um, but really, it's dialing in the little things. So, um, really taking control of my recovery, my rehab. You know, we have a great training staff, great people in there that, that can really help you to, uh, or help me to be better. Um, so it's really just everything all around. I know it's a broad answer, but doing the little things better and really dialing in has, has helped the most. The progress that you've shot by you. What have you done to earn this trust this year? Um, I've definitely we've had really good connection. Even on my visit, he was just super sweet. Um, and I feel very comfortable around him. So I was like, this is a coach. He knows what I can do. So why not believe in myself the way that everyone here believes in me? So I put in the work. Um, they know exactly what to do, how to get you where you need to be. So I just kind of trusted their process and they trust me. So personal best, then personal best. How do you, how do you look, when you're looking at the numbers and going, wait a minute, where did you think that, where did that speed come from? Or did you know that that speed was there? I knew it was there. Um, like someone said before, like we've done this every practice, you know, it's nothing new. Um, you just get to put it on actual time and have people in the stands cheering for you. So we all knew it was coming. Um, there's a lot of hard work put into it, but it's just exciting to have it there and on paper. So. What does having the pressure and the, the, the ability of having such a tough week here uh, add to you to prepare you for uh, your future? It's exciting. Um, like Coach Kitley said, there's a lot of great schools coming, so it's just embrace every opportunity. Um, instead of running away from competition, join it. Like, there's nothing to be afraid for. Um, you just do what you do, nothing changes, it's just different people around you. So. Alyssa, from an outsider's perspective, it seems like you know you must know more for their distance runners. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like for them? How would you kind of describe the program? Yeah. Um, I had a great time there, great experience at NAU. I think they are known for distance, but they have a great uh, sprint group, especially when my class came in. You know, it's kind of the goal of, like, let's get the sprinters exposed. And we kind of started building the program, too, but both sides, you know, work, really work together, and I had a great experience. What's the facilities like there, and what did you think of the facilities? They have a flat 300 meter indoor, so it's still nice to get the snow there. So we got to go inside and not worry about the cold. Um, they also have a nice outdoor track that we trained on. Never hosted any meets. I know that was a distance thing. You don't want to come run at 7,000 feet, but it was still nice. But being here is definitely just great. Um, this is one of the best facilities, if not the best in the country. Um, and to train on it every day is just exciting and I'm grateful for all of it. But a little difference, a lot of difference between Phoenix and Flagstaff. Huh? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Gilbert, Arizona, so it was nice and hot, and Flagstaff is chilly and snowy. So, but being in Texas, I'm glad to be away from most of the snow. Uh, it's been picking up a little bit around here, but nothing too bad. So.